Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, Tomcat 9 on CentOS 7 system. So Tomcat is an open source Java implementation uh, package developed by the Apache Software Foundation. And in this tutorial, we will try to install it on this machine right here, which is a CentOS 7 uh, virtual machine running on VirtualBox. What you need for this tutorial is uh, obviously a CentOS 7 system and a user account with sudo privilege or a root user and access to a terminal command line utility. First was what we need to do is check and see if Java is installed on this machine. So let's do Java dash virgin and it says that java is not installed so let's install it with the yum command so you can use this command yum install java 1.8 and hit enter now note that here we are installing uh, OpenJDK 8 uh, standard edition which is fully open source if your software uh, uses Oracle Java you can use it instead now that the uh, Java or the OpenJDK is installed let's move on to the next step and create a Tomcat user and group with this command So the command is, uh, well, I don't need to do because I'm running this as a root. So user add dash m dash u dash d uh, slash opt slash tomcat. And here, uh, this opt tomcat folder is the home uh, folder for the uh, tomcat user. Dash s slash bin slash false. This means that this uh, Tomcat user is not going to use uh, a shell. Hit enter to run the command. And if you go to the slash etc slash password file, you should see the Tomcat user created. Also, if you go to the slash etc slash group file you should see the tomcat group created as well now let's download uh, the tomcat 9 uh, software first let's cd to the temp uh, directory and then use the wget command to download tomcat 9 It says here that uh, wget was not found, so I need to install it. So let's do yum install dash y wget. It's a small package and it is already installed. So let's run back the, the wget command. It says here that uh, the issued certificate was expired or has expired. Okay, let me clear the screen here. Let's try the command again with no certificate check. So we add here this uh, attribute no check certificate. And now it is downloading. When the download uh, finishes, extract the uh, tar.gz file using this command I think I extracted the wrong file here let's try again Okay, 
now it it worked so if i do uh, cd slash opt slash tomcat and then ls here you see that the software has been extracted here now let's uh, modify the user permissions the new user uh, tomcat needs to execute uh, or needs some execute privileges over uh, this directory so let's do that let's do to own dash r tomcat colon tomcat space slash opt slash tomcat which means that the owner of this folder opt tomcat is going to be the user tomcat in the group tomcat a dash r means recursively means any any folder any subfolder of this folder is going to be owned by the tomcat user hit enter then allow the user to run execute or have the execute privilege on this folder using this command and hit enter now if i do ls dash la as you as you can see everything in this folder is owned by the tomcat user in the group in the tomcat group and this this part means that any uh, file with the extension .sh in the bin directory the user can execute it so if i do cd or just ls dash la and then uh, slash bin you can see that any file with .sh extension can be executed by the tomcat user and the group uh, and the tomcat group so this is what uh, these two commands mean so let's clear the screen now let's create a system unit file and creating a system uh, unit file allows tomcat to run as a service so first let's find the java location with the following command which is read link dash f uh, which java and this is the link to java from this link you only need this part up to uh, before jru bin java so let's copy this part and to create a tomcat.service file use the command this command which will uh, create a tomcat.service file let's uh, edit this file okay let's i don't have nano installed so i'm going to use vi and let's paste the following in the tomcat.service file Okay. Then in this file, paste the path from the previous uh, step or the previous command in the environment uh, Java home. So let's do that. So this is the Java home line. I'm going to remove this. and paste, paste my link which is this one i'm going to add the slash in the end like it was uh, before let's save and close this file i just opened it to make sure that everything is there okay file saved now let's refresh uh, the system by doing a diamond reload so let's do system ctl diamond dash 
reload and then let's uh, set tomcat service to start on boot by doing system ctl system ctl enable tomcat I don't think I should be getting this uh, error message let's try to do start tomcat and then let's see the status of tomcat it's active as you can see let's try to do enable again bad message I'm not sure why I'm getting this uh, error message let me go back to the uh, tomcat.service file this one let's do vi I think I think I found the error in the beginning it should be uh, unit and not uh, just t so let's correct this it's unit I think this is the error let's save it okay it's saved let's do uh, enable again and now it worked okay so th that was the error the error was in the tomcat.service file and if I do status again it's active great let's continue now let's adjust uh, the firewall because uh, tomcat service needs to access uh, port 8080 so let's uh, allow it to do that using this command firewall uh, cmd zone public permanent add port 8080 slash tcp so this this is the command that's going to allow uh, the port uh, t the tcp port 8080 through the firewall and then uh, do firewall uh, reload with this command firewall cmd dash dash reload and it says it is successful and now with this uh, you should be able to see the tomcat server in a web browser so if you do if you go to your web browser and then go to the http colon slash slash localhost or IP address or server name as you want colon 80 80 let's see what we get and as you can see we get the uh, home page of Apache Tomcat 9 if you want to create a user that can access the web management interface edit the user uh, file by entering this command and then delete everything from the file and add the following add these lines And then replace good password with a secure password for your choosing so let's do that let's replace good password with something i'm not going to use a strong password i'm just going to do tomcat because this is just a test environment but if you are in a production environment you should use a strong password of course save this file and exit and you should be able to access the web management interface in web browser uh, using this link so let's duplicate this tab so the home uh, for tomcat then slash manager and then use the credentials you just created admin password tomcat 
uh, it's not working I'm going to check back this file and see what it contains ah again an error in the beginning I should check more what I'm pasting <laughs> so let's go to insert mode and correct this let's try again with the admin user and the tomcat password that I just created and voila it's working and now I have access to the web management interface and with this you should have a working installation of Apache Tomcat 9 on your uh, CentOS 7 server which is good and you also have access to the web management uh, interface with the user that you have created I hope this video has been uh, helpful for you and thank you for watching